Yuna. I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough to stop him. We wanted to at least warn someone, but instead, we were dragged into the darkness. We're no better than fiends. It's all right. Forgive us. Please, tell me, what is he? Shuyin? Just a shadow. It may look like him, but the real Shuyin died long ago. Even after a thousand years, his hate and misery linger on. His feelings grew so strong they began to act on their own. Eventually, they became a shadow. A shade that wants only to vanish, but cannot. Just a shadow. I can handle a shadow. Are you sure? Yes, leave it to me. I'll banish shadow with light. Light? Lens feelings. That's right. Call it love. Hey! <laughs> you certainly took your sweet time. Why are you here? Because the boss never goes against Lord Nuji's wishes. You found him? As we was heading in, we found the sphere addressed to the boss. He said, <clears throat> Don't follow me. Turn back now and wait for my return. Actually doing what you're told? How novel. What can I say? One look at Nuji Wuji's dashing visage on that sphere and I was, oh, charmed. How could I say no to such a cutesy, wootsy face? What if he... Don't worry. If he knows you're waiting, he has a reason to come home. <sighs> and wait I shall. We'll tell him that you're waiting like a good girl. You do that, love, and don't forget to stress, good girl. What are you looking at? Far plane data. The more I study it, the more fascinating it gets. There's limitless energy swirling around in there. Limitless energy? The life force that flows through our planet, I think. With a little work, we could probably extract the energy in a usable form. Sweet! Of course, that'd take generations. 
That's no fun! Well, still, it is something worth shooting for. Think how much Spear would change if we ever got it to work. Maybe one day we could build a city full of light, one that never sleeps. No doubt about it. Just imagine. But I'll never get to see it, will I? Shinra! Don't make you no sad! Right, my bad. Frederick <laughs> From a deep go dig for the sheet. Boom make your trek be treat. How? Fimme gek. Kapuk do foam. Sheet? If when a hook back, do deed and land out the crap, and for Revo to two it one way. Who did? Listen up, kids. I don't know what this sphere hunter business is all about, but I won't tolerate unwed girls running around doing crazy stuff. Can't you be a little more, you know, ladylike? Get with it, Pops. Ugh, that is so primitive. Right? But, hmm. so I'm an old fart, that it? Can't keep up with the youngins, eh? You said it, Pops. Why don't you sit back and leave the mother dines to us? You're the one I'm worried about most, the mohawk moron. So? No. Actually, Pops on the mark for once. Stop picking on your brother. Hey, what is that? I was born in Bevel. I grew up in Besaid, and I suppose. This ship is my home now. Well, no, not just here. When I think of all the places we saw on our journey, now each and every one of them feels like home to me.
What's wrong? It's just... Why do I always feel like I'm being left behind? Uni, you're changing. You want to change, and Payne's changed a whole bunch. <sighs> but, Riku, I have you to thank for that. If you hadn't invited me along, I might never have left Besaid. And the way I was before, I could never have lived like this. So, I think next time... Next time? Yeah, next time will be your story. Ooh, really? What kind of story? Hmm, well, let's see. How's that for a beginning? Do I get a hunky boy in my story? Need one? Yep, yep! <laughs> I wonder what brother would say. Uh, he's not invited. <laughs> I'll come up with something, I guess. <laughs> you will, Riku. If anyone can do it, you can. I guess Marnala is gone. No, look! She's right here! She may be small now, but give her some time and she'll grow. Then we'll have a new Marnala. Marnala's gone. But she'll grow bigger and become a new Marnala? Huh? Oh, you didn't know? Marnala is the Cactuar word for grandma. If you say so. Well then, we look forward to meeting her again someday. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 